So from low power here, you can see some bridging. You could say fibroplasia. You could think of dysplastic nevus at this area, but not over here, because over here we see that even though we've got kind of some dysplastic nevus-like um, architecture over there, we've got really big atypical cells with abundant pale, dirty dishwater cytoplasm, tons of pagetoid spread, great example of superficial spreading type of melanoma. No, no doubt about uh, the diagnosis here, lots of pagetoid spread, lots of atypia, um, very straightforward, kind of puffy, almost ballooned looking melanocytes in this case. And then a bonus finding is we've got this black pigment and you might say, if you never, if you're just starting out in derm path, oh, it's melanin. No, melanin is not black, right? Black is always exogenous. The human body does not make black pigment. So I really like to harp on this point. Black can be carbon in the lungs from breathing uh, air in polluted environments that most people have a little bit of. Carbon can be, you know, silver from drinking colloidal silver because you think it'll cure diseases. It does not, by the way. Uh, it can be foreign body. It can be, as in this case, tattoo pigment. It can be graphite from getting stabbed with a pencil, but black is not made by the human body. Melanin, no matter how black a melanocytic lesion looks to the naked eye, melanin is always brown. There actually, I think, is also some reddish melanin called eumelanin, but for the purpose of melanocytic lesions, brown is melanin, okay? You, your body does not make black. If true black microscopically is exogenous, it's from outside the body, okay? So I think that's useful. And I have um, encountered sometimes people where they uh, thought about about that. Um, I, I one time heard somebody tell me you shouldn't ink uh, use when you're using surgical marking ink, you shouldn't use black to ink the margins on a melanoma specimen because it, it would be hard to tell apart from the melanoma. And I was like, oh no, that's not true because melanin is not black and melanocytes are not black ever, okay? They are brown when, they, when they're making pigment. And a lot of times they don't make any pigment at all, right? So there we go. That's melanoma plus a tattoo. There was one other feature I thought I saw at low power I wanted to point out. Maybe not. All right. I'd call this one superficial spreading type. Some people don't even use those old school classifications or subtypes for melanomas anymore. It's kind of a, for historical purposes and, and for pattern recognition for pathologists, but again, clinically doesn't really matter. 